Did you get a job yet? No. My feeler's out. Lots. So you're a fan of our morning program? Oh, many Yeah, yeah, we know it's singing. terrible. Coming up tomorrow, we'll show you what to do with those shampoo bottles with just an inch of shampoo left. Huh. Daybreak's understaffed, underfunded. Any producer who works there will be publicly ridiculed, overworked, on the pay. Awful. I'll take it. <laughs> I'd like to offer you the position of co-host of Daybreak. After the career that I've had. <laughs> Is he gonna cook? Is he gonna do fashion segments and gossip? Not my thing. You happen to be a pretentious, fatuous idiot. A fatuous idiot who makes three times what you make. So now is an excellent time for you to take up drinking. What's going on now? Mike is offended by a word in the next story. It's about Easter chicks. I'm not saying the word fluffy. Interesting, Jerry hired you. No polish, those bangs. <laughs> Suppose I don't have standards? Sure you do. When you got your pep smear on air, you wore a silk robe. Okay! Classy touch. It wasn't that bad. How reliable is your alarm clock? You want to make the ratings worse? That's why you came here? I'm not giving up. Try not to bore the nation into a coma with your dominant scrap. Suck it. Mike, no one can do their jobs around here well, because you can't be bothered to do yours at all. And we're back. Welcome back to Daybreak. It's only my job. It's not my whole life, right? You're worse than I am. I was never at home. When I was, I took every phone call, watching TV out of the corner of my eye. Let me tell you how it all turns out. You end up with nothing, which is what I had till you came along. Take what you want, steal my mind, build me up, or cut me down the side, shut me out, and I shall scream. I'm only one voice in a million, but you ain't taking that from me. But you ain't taking that from me. You ain't taking that. Kissy? <laughs> That's a little. That's wrong. Do it again.